the lookup formula. You've probably heard about it. Let's take a look. So you probably spend a lot of time with spreadsheets, looking through tables of information, looking down columns, trying to locate a single small piece of information that's really difficult to locate. This takes a lot of time and it's really boring. The VLOOKUP formula is going to help you to instantly extract a piece of information from a table, no matter how big that table is. It's going to be really useful. It's going to save you a lot of time and it will impress your colleagues. Let's have a look at how it works. First, let's take a look at an example of VLOOKUP. Here we have a list of student names and the marks they've received. What VLOOKUP allows us to do is to change the name of the student in this cell and then have values from the table automatically appear in these two cells here. That's because there's VLOOKUP formulae in these cells and these formulae are extracting data from the table. So we can see student two has a mark of 65 and a grade of pass. So that's what VLOOKUP is doing. Let's change it to student one and the mark should change to 45 and the grade should change to fail. Let's just try that. Okay, good. So that's how VLOOKUP is working. And we're going to learn how to do that ourselves today, how to make a VLOOKUP formula. So this is what we're starting with. This is a list of videos and the series that they belong to and the length of the videos. Here, we want to be able to type in the title of the video and have the video length automatically display in this cell. So the formula is going to look at the table, find the video title and return whatever is in this column here, the length of the video. Let's have a quick look at what we are looking at. There's four components to the VLOOKUP formula. The first thing the formula asks for is the lookup value. So this is the value it is going to put into the table. Then it's going to ask you for the table array. So this is where the table is. Then it's going to ask us for the column index number. So this is the column in the table that you want to return data from. And then it's going to ask us for an exact or approximate match. We're going to set this to false for the time being because we're always looking for an exact match. So let's try to implement this formula here. So first I'm going to put a name of one of the videos here. So let's have the first one. Okay, and I want a VLOOKUP formula here to return the length of the video. And this formula will change what is in this cell according to what is in the video title cell. So we're going to start with equals VLOOKUP and open brackets. Now you'll notice that Excel has given us some prompts here, and this, these prompts will help us build the formula. So first it's asking for a lookup value. So this is the value that it is going to put into the table when it's returning the information. So we want to look up the value in this cell. So we can just click on this cell and we can see C5 has appeared in our formula. Next thing to do is to hit the comma key. And once you've hit the comma key, Excel will ask for the next piece of information, which is the table array. Now this is the table that we want Excel to look in to find the information we want. So the table array is just here. So I can click and hold and select the whole table and then release the mouse button. And as you can see, the references for the table has appeared here. Then we're going to hit the comma key again and Excel is now asking for the column index number. Now we are looking for the length of the video and that is in the third column. So the, the column first, furthest left is always column number one. So column one, column two, column three. So we're going to put a three in here. And again, hit the comma key. Now Excel is asking for a range lookup, which means an approximate or exact match. 
all of the values that could appear in our video title cell are in the table, which means we're looking for an exact match. So we're going to set this to false. Okay, and now we close the brackets and hit the return key and let's see what we get. Okay, so this seems to have worked okay. We can test it by changing the title of the video here. And let's see what happens in the video length cell. Okay, good, changing fonts and 227. So that seems to be working quite well. I want to show you a slightly better version, which is here. Here I've implemented uh, some data validation, which gives us a list and we can then select the name of the video from the list, which is much faster. To see how to do this, look at the data validation video for lists. Okay, so that's all on VLOOKUP. Have a go yourself and remember it's going to save you time and it will impress your colleagues. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful and easy to understand. Now, why don't you tell us about how you're doing with VLOOKUP, tell us about how you've used VLOOKUP, maybe in the comments on YouTube. Now, you're going to see some links on the screen now for other videos in this series. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. I'll see you again on another video.